All right, there's a couple ways we can do this one. Um, the easiest way, I think, is just to do them individually. If you can, all right. Dang it. Well, this one will work out pretty nice. So this x to the power of 15, and then I've got this cube root. Now, I know 15 is a multiple of 3, so I'm okay using the exponents in this case. Because that's going to be x to the power of 15 thirds. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now, on the other hand, I've got this. By the way, it is okay to have a negative cube root. So I know I'm going to be multiplying this by some negative value. Um, 64. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, 64. Uh, negative 64 if you want, but we already pulled out the negative. It's the same as 4 times 4 times 4. And then I'm going to break this x to the power of 6 up. So let me get rid of this garbage. And I'm going to break that x to the power of 6 into x to the power of 6 thirds. And that's being multiplied. Notice I took it out of that radical and used the index as the denominator of that fraction. So the cube root of 4 times 4 times 4, again, we're looking for groups of 3 in this case. So that'd be a negative 4 times x to the power of 6 divided by 3 is 2. Okay. Now what I need to do is I've got these two base x's, which I can combine. So that's going to give me x to the power of 5 plus this 2 is 7, and then I still got that negative 4. Now that was one way to simplify. Uh, the other way that we do this is, let's go ahead and we'll give ourselves some space. So what we would have done is we would have taken the cube root of x to the power of 15 and multiplied the cube root of negative 64 x to the power of 6 but well, we would have just multiplied these into one large cube root. So then we would add negative 64 times x to the power of 15 times x to the power of 6, which would have given us x to the power of 21. So the negative 64 still breaks up into this negative 4, but now you'd have 21 divided by this 3, which would give you the 7. So when we look at the cube root of negative 64, that's one of them, right? So let's look at that. Yeah, the negative is really is really this. Negative 64 would be negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. So now I've got three duplicate values right here that would still equal that negative 64, which means that I've got a triple, which is what I need because the index is 3. I've got a triple of negative 4. On the other hand, though, with that uh, x to the power of 15, I guess I, well, let me try this. So x to the power of 15 is x times x, 15 of these x's. And in this case, we're looking for groups of 3. Where am I at? 5, 6, 7. Fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, whatever. Fifteen x's, and this is all being cube root rooted. So I need a, groups of three, groups of three x's. There's one, two, three, four, five groups of three x's. So this would give me an x. This would give me an x. This gives me an x. This gives me an x, and so does this one, which would give me x to the power of 5. But, oh, I thought the 15 was being raised to the third power, but that's a cube root of the negative. That's correct, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so that's the importance of why we want to separate those a little bit um, the is on those. X to the power of 